is stunning. Wow, a <laughs> bit of colour. Welcome to the Sunday Shave. A very happy Sunday to you. How are you doing? You alright? I hope so. Good health. Um, right, razor firstly, and a special soap. I had to come back to this. It was quite apt really for the soap I'm going to use. This is the Gillette New Long Comb DE Razor, 1930s. Three piece, non adjustable. Very light handle, hollow. You can't tell maybe because it's you know it's blocked off, but it's it's a hollow, it's a light handle, very head heavy. And this is beautiful, this base plate. Look at that. Absolutely stunning condition. Rose, like a rose gold colour, and this is the brass. If you can see that. You've seen it before, hopefully. Um, using that Euromax blade, second you, see how it performs in this. Um, it sits lovely, right, okay, so that's the razor we're going to be using. Three piece, as I say, non-adjustable open comb. Um, sits nicely and there is overhang to be aware of. Brush, this is another DS Cosmetic. No name on it this time, well their name, not mine. <laughs> in this beautiful sort of dark and light green mixed resin handle with a tuxedo synthetic 26 millimeter I believe um, but I'll put a link to it in the description it's a nice nice short handle well sort of so I like the tuxedo knot it's lovely so if you like that sort of color you'd love it very nice nice change actually matches see <laughs> I'm using levers there was a company in Britain called Lever, Lever Brothers, and uh, they were based, I think 1885 they started making soap, and um, they grew and grew, and then they, they built a big place on a play, on an area called Bromborough Pools, which later become Port Sunlight, and it's safe to say that they actually built that village, uh, they built high quality houses with fantastic architecture for the staff to live in. Um, I'll put a link actually to Wikipedia in the description if you want to read the history of them. Um, and there's even a, is it Lever House in New York somewhere, that's something to do from way back and whatever. But this is, they produce soap and this was um, produced in the, between 1936 and 1952, and the reason I say that, that if you can read there, but it says there, by appointment to King uh, VI, which is King George, King George VI, King George the Sixth, which was the, our present Queen's father, and he reigned, I think it was 19, uh, 11th of December 1936, and he, until he died, 1952. Um, so it was between there. It's a new one. Now I wouldn't usually use an old soap, especially a rare one like this, as you can see there. It's brand new. Uh, but I've got two, so I've kept one which won't be used. Now we'll see. You see it on camera. A bit of history here. Open it like my father used to open it. Well, like you should open it, isn't it? So there you go. Very, uh, our good friend that's just departed this country. <laughs> Actually, smells a bit palm olivey, so we'll see. It could well be that. Right, so that brush just wants soaking in water there. Um, and that is this, I'll just wet the face. Oh, we've had some beautiful weather. Cold, but sunny and warm. Beautiful, uh, well, I class as spring days, you know, beautiful. Cheers you up the sun. Okay, so we're going to face lather. So I'm just going to dip into water. Wow, beautiful scent. So it's just a... It 
Yes, slight, it's not quite palm olive, but it's a, a beautiful sort of clean soapy scent with very, it does uh, remind me a lot of palm olive. And yeah, Lever Brothers, Lord Lever Hume, I believe. Um, in 1930, they employed 250,000 staff and as I say, they lived, a lot of them lived in the adjoining um, Port Sunlight. And uh, they looked after the well, they welfare of their staff, you know, for the time, by building the houses and stuff like that. And um, they were the biggest company in this country, in the, in the United Kingdom. Then, that'll do, we'll see how that does. Very nice. Okay, brush, thank you. Empty that. See so how the old tuxedo does. Said it before and I'll say it again. Been in that box unopened. The newest it could be is 1952. But let's say it's a 1940s soap. And look at that. Like the day it was made. God, they were good days. <sighs> For manufacturing and quality. Tuxedo knot, no problem. As you can see there for face lathering with a hard soap and a very old soap. So good test for you. <laughs> very nice. Do you like the matching? Not bad, is it? Near enough, isn't it? <laughs> little things, eh? Little things. We'll rinse the razor. Oh, that smells beautiful. Yeah, it's more of a. Uh, how can I put it? A hint of palm olive remnants, but a very clean, soapy scent. Beautiful. Wow. Well, here we go. Euromax blade. Mm. God, I love this razor. The scent to me again, kind people. Well, if you're watching, thank you so much. I'll look after this. Thank you so much. I'll look after this here. Yeah. Use it. And then, um, wow, that smells nice. And really enjoy using it and looking after it. Blades, very nice. The open comb, um, it's not for my skin, it's, as I've said it before, it's not an aggressive razor, um, but it does allow the soap access through, you know, to go through the, the combs. Nice blade, very smooth. And I think when you enjoy, you know, you see a lot of videos saying, watch your top soaps, five soaps, top five blades, razors. Now, vintage razors, I've always said the Gillette Slim Adjustable. Modern, probably the Merca Future. But this, this would be up there for me. Just for it. Quality and looks and how long it's been around and yeah. I love history. 
not very good at it, but I, I enjoy it. Right, that was lovely. Let's see. <sighs> Slick. Ooh, yeah. Slicker than a politician's pitch. Speech. <laughs> that is beautiful. Just try that. Very slick soap. Regarding its age, it's an honour to use this because Port Sunlight is only about 35 miles from here. So we'll just wet the soap again. It's called, um, did I say what it's called? Leavers Easy Shaving Stick. Um, I may have said in the last video where uh, I'm hoping to use a soap, but I was waiting. I ordered the two, and I wanted the two in my hands before I opened one because it's the yes, yes, yes. His lordship, oh. he's doing very well and he hasn't got any plans of visiting, I hope, for a while. <laughs> I've told him, keep away when I'm growing my tomatoes. Oh, are you afraid of me pinching them? I said, no. But I said, you'll expect some. Well, yes. I've <laughs> probably over lathered there, but uh, I'm, I love it. Hang on, let's get it wet. He's wetted. You don't need to lather this much, but uh, why not? You only live once. That is absolutely stunning soap. Absolutely stunning. That would blow a lot of modern soaps out the water. Look at that. Yeah, I've added a fair amount of soap there, but easy, beautiful. Here we go, across the growth. Gillette. 1930s, new long comb. D razor. I was reading in the comments, somebody else said they've um, they've got these blades and they love them. And did somebody else say they're now called one something? I've answered, or tried to, the Shea video uh, comments as much as I can. Um, and I read them all. Still. So I apologise if I don't get back to you in some videos. Um, but I do read them and I really appreciate them. Thank you. It's nice for me in the evening. A nice cold beer or something like that. And I sit there reading them and then I'm chuckling to myself. Because I tell you what you find with, well, if you make videos and you do them often and you get a, a following, and you get you get to know channels that comment, you know, regular people are watching comments, and you build even though you've never met them, uh, you wouldn't know what they look like or you look like I should say. Um, you get to feel it's like reading a book. You get to feel the character, and you you think of this character, what they're like in your in your mind, like a, when you listen to a radio show. We have a bit of claret, I think. I'm sure I've seen a spot somewhere. But uh, yeah, very, I'm very grateful, very lucky. Lovely second, Whew, lovely, yeah, second pass. So I we'll have to go back. Anyway, dinner. What are we having? Din dins. Well, we're having. Um, what are we having? Always read the script. <laughs> I'm joking. 
I think I'm gonna oh that's it, roast chicken. Um I've actually I've bought some quite large chicken thighs. There's about six in the box, so I'm gonna cook two of them probably. Two uh, roast chicken thighs with um, some steamed shallot baby potatoes. Um, I've got an organic carrot, <laughs> which is be you know peeled and sliced. And they'll be steamed, and some green beans, which will also be steamed. And after a few drinks, I'll be steamed. <laughs> no, but um, with lashentos of gravy. This is go on. Have a get your hand through the beautiful, isn't it? Slick, beautiful. I could shave like that, actually. Right, a bit more water to the brush. Mm. I'll tell you, this brush holds soap well, very well. Synthetic, very nice. I couldn't have picked a better brush. <laughs> Can I love it? When things come together, it's all right. People say, ah, it's just a, it's just luck. Certainly not, it's all arranged. <laughs> that is most of the time luck. Against the growth, here we go, here we go. Eyes down for a full house. Yeah, there's a couple of dots. Well, not to worry. Remember the saying, it's not if you cut yourself, it's when. You just gotta be honest about it. Some people worry about the Adam's apple. That's a nasty cut, that, if you ever cut there. But I've said before, you can either swallow and hold the swallow. Or, do as I do mainly, is when you get to the side, mine's not that prominent, but just push the skin and then the other way. But you knew that, didn't you? Give me a sip this test, don't I? Beautiful. Well, you could ski over there. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to ask you something now. Do you fancy another meetup this year? Um, I was actually asked by the young shaver, the channel I just shouted out. With the um, with Daniel, and um, you know my last one was in Leeds because the shop was good enough to host it for us in the shop. But um, I'll probably do a poll. Um, oh no, you can write in the comments can you? Uh, if you prefer Leeds or London. I probably. This time round, I'll do London. Um, maybe do one in Leeds, do one in London, do one, you know that. But I don't, not sure if any shops would host us uh, there. Because they're certainly tailors. Well, they couldn't stop you going there, but they, they wouldn't let you host the event. They're sort of. Let us all meet there. You could meet outside, maybe. But... It'd 
did only be a simple meet up, you know, meet up, have a chat, like we did last time really. Uh, say hello. Nice to meet people. And Mrs H may attend this, don't you? But we wouldn't stay... Normally I'd stay the night in London, but we'd have to... We'd have to get back, because we got the cats, you see. So. And nobody's good enough to look after them, for, for Mrs H. No. So we'd... Probably get the train back in the evening. That's beautiful. Anyway, see what you think. It'll be around uh, September time in London. On a Saturday, most likely. Saturday, 11 a.m., something like that. Meet till 11 till 1 or 2, whatever. Just meet up. Hello, how are you? Bit of shopping, bit of chat, a few photos, handshakes. And... Uh, Make a video in the process. Doing the shops and everything. Be nice. And yeah, see what you think. That's beautiful. Absolutely. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So it's a soapy, very clean, soapy scent. Um, there is a Pam Olivey scent there, but not quite, not quite. Beautiful, slick, thick, creamy, it's whatever you want. It's an honour for me to be using such things like this and soaps like that. And even the brush to match the box. <laughs> yeah, so see what you think of that. London. I like London. Not just because of the shaving shop. I met a chap there last time I went. Uh, Jeff. He turned up all the way from, was it Portsmouth? Or Plymouth? Portsmouth or Plymouth. And he took me to a, if you've seen the video, you'll, you, you will, well, you've seen it. Took me to this, like a pub. And we went upstairs somewhere. And I can't remember the name. I don't know. I couldn't take you there now. Um, if you still watch, Jeff, let me know what it was. <laughs> Beautiful fish and chips. Really nice. Oh, it's beautiful this. As I say, there's a few dots of claret. But that won't really matter. Is it a, just a touch there? It's got to be done. Sunday, you can't look your best, don't you? That's another thing, when I was young, we always had Sunday clothes. Best Sunday clothes. If we ever went to church or anything. Or just because it was Sunday. It's, it's <laughs> These things come back to you. You know, it's cold water now. Beautiful. Leave it wet, because we're having a visit today from Alan. Hello, Alan. <laughs> God, like a children's thing. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. There's Alan. Pun? Yeah. Don't drop that box. Right. A little wetter. Now this, you should feel it on these red bits. Uh, it's a bit of a sting. Mm. 
but not too bad. There we go. I always leave this now to dry and then I sort of polish it with a towel. Make sure this is dry and put it back in. It lasts a lot longer. Because if you put it away wet, as you may know, it'll just dissolve. <laughs> oh, it's rinse off. We'll have another cold water rinse in it. Now I'm excited about the uh, aftershave in this. Uh, I'll show you why. Okay. No thayers today. There's the result. Okay. Aftershave. Doesn't mean anything to you, does it? No. <laughs> right, this. I was contacted by a company called Copy Copycat Fragrances. And they obviously copy the top end fragrances and other stuff, but Executive Aventus. Creed Aventus. Now, I never told Mrs. H this was on its way. They said, can we send you a product? I said, yeah, so they said, pick one. And as soon as I seen this, Aventus, whoo, whoo, pew, that's the one, please. And another thing I noticed on their website, which is nice for aftershaves, especially uh, these where you can buy a small one. I think it's five pounds, somewhere around there. Um, but that's just like a file to test, which is good because you can, you know, aftershaves can be expensive and you buy one, you may not like it. and. Um, so you can buy a file, you know, the five pound, whatever, tester, you may say, yeah, that's nice. Or you may say, no, I'm not keen on that. Well, you haven't wasted a lot of money. So this one is, uh, how many millimetres in there? There's 50 mil in this. And this was 35, was it? 35 pounds. And then there's 100 mil for 55. Or is it 45 and 50? No, 35, I think it is. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description for you to see it. But this, I tested the other day and I put some on at was it 6 a.m. and by 2 p.m. I could still smell it on my hand it had gone fainter but it was still there now that's impressive for me longevity that's where a lot of these beautiful aftershaves and colognes and you think oh I just wish they lasted and this does so that's a good score for me and the scent Mrs. H loves it. She said, when you've done the video, can I? <laughs> and it's very much the same. Very much the same. Uh, but that's what I wanted, the longevity of it lasting, and it did. So well done. And thank you very much, Copycat Fragrances. AR Eau de Parfum Executive. That's the one. Beautiful. Go on. And that'll smell for hours. Beautiful. Good resemblance as well, sorry, to Creed Aventus. Uh, obviously, it's not Creed Aventus, but you, if you smelt that, because I went, when I said I put some on, I said to Mrs. H, uh, she said to me, Creed Aventus, so it's a, that's a good sign. <laughs> anyway, to put the moisture back, rock face. All weather, moisturising cream. And it gives me an excuse to have another squirt of that after. Lovely. Yeah, so I try and help if I can with links and stuff. and If it helps you. If you have a look or whatever. There's other fragrances as well. Sandalwoods and... Um, twice in one video. We've got to go. Oh, she stopped now. She just started up then. Gillette New Longcomb DE Razor 1930s Brass uh, Hollow Handle Rose Gold with Brass Colour. You can see there. Hope it shows up. Beautiful razor. I love this. Just click as soon as I seen it. Fell in love, baby. Three piece, non adjustable. Works well. 
Euro Max blade. The uh, came in this box here. Japanese steel, made in India. <laughs> That's um, beautiful blade. Works well. Uh, I like it. Um, Lever Brothers Port Sunlight Easy Shave Stick Shaving Soap. Really nice to use that and nice to show it and share it with you. Um, beautiful. I got it on eBay. I think there's some still there, but they're about £10 with postage. But worth it for me. As I say, it's a historical piece. You can't buy it in the shops. Um, using a bit of history there. Brand new as well. There it is. Bit of palm olive scent, but a very soapy and gorgeous scent. Lovely, really nice. DS Cosmetic um, brush, tuxedo synthetic knot with a green resin, the green intermingled colours. Handle, beautiful knot, worked well with that soap. Um, what else did we use? Oh, rinsed off with water, used alum. Thank you, alum. <laughs> and then we've used this. Executive AR Executive Copycat Fragrances Creed Aventus copy, very nice, lasts. And then we put the Rock Face to uh, all weather moisturizer. Good stuff, good stuff. Dinner time, well, not quite, but will be. That's it. So I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Some great shaves and um, good health. That's important. Very good health. So stay positive if you can. Have a great weekend, great Sunday, and I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care.